Before this, I was running a totally different business. I was one of the first ones to rent out exotic sports cars in Singapore. So it's all a glitz and glamour lifestyle. Money was good. I drive beautiful cars every day. However, after a while, things like this lose their meaning. Well, my company is pretty new, uh, still in its uh, infancy stages. Uh, it's barely enough to pay the bills. This business is very personal. Driving Uber enables me to meet people directly and talk to them. In the couple of months that I've been driving, I've given out boxes of name cards already. I am Chris Chia, and I'm an undertaker and I run my own funeral services company, Westbound Funerals. Cases that involve children really get to me because I feel they are very innocent. Children look very beautiful when they're lying there. They look, they look like they're alive. They're not wrinkly, they're not dried up. They just look like they're sleeping. You can really see the pain and sense the agony in their parents' eyes. I always tell people that the difference uh, between running my previous business and earning big bucks and now, apart from the fact that now I'm not earning that much money, however, ever since the first day, the first time I handled a body, I've had the best sleep ever. And I've been sleeping soundly for the past seven years. So this is your favourite top, okay? Your mum gave it to us, so we're going to put it on for you, all right? We just rest, we'll take good care of you, okay? Uh, to get over my fears, I would talk to the deceased, treat them like they are you know, just having a good sleep. And that helps. It helps to make it seem less scary. Because sometimes to work alone in the embalming room, prepping the body for sending back. It may or may not get creepy sometimes. I mean, after a while, you get, you get used to it, it's fine. Of course, certain cases where if it's like very tragic and the facial features are distorted or not even there, that can be a little bit difficult. I, th I think it's something that, that we human beings are wired to, to do, to connect something with a face. So without one, it's a bit difficult, but I still try. I still try. In fact, they, they, they need more of our help because everyone's more frightened, I guess. Okay, I want to cater to the bread and butter. Living in Singapore is already very tough. So when something sudden happens like this and you need to come up with 10,000, 20,000, 30, 50, it can be quite difficult for families to come up with that kind of money when the need arises suddenly like that. And because I have a small setup, for now, I keep my profit margins pretty low actually. But I just feel good. It's like a big ball of petals uh, in which I put the remains inside of it. I do this kind of sea scattering because the ashes dissipate away slowly on top of the petals. Working this line for so many years has definitely taught me humility. You need to set aside your own issues. No matter how tired you are, or just not feeling it that day, you got to put everything aside and focus on the family, focus on the job, and take care of the deceased. I learned to put other people first.
I absorb emotions. Through time, I guess a lot of undertakers learn to desensitize themselves. However, for me, it's been almost seven years and I still do cry. <laughs>